Okay, so now I want to do sketching polarization induced by nearby charge. This is last one here. Sketching polarization induced by nearby charge. So uh, when I click on this, I don't get a picture up. So I'm going to have to ask you to, to use your imagination a little bit. When you're doing the test, of course, you do get one. Two neutral objects are sketched below in black and white. And so um, if I look at the explanation, I can see what the objects look like. All right, so it looks like it's a pi in eighths, and it's got an inner side. Okay, so let's go back here, and let's make it. Control N. No, I don't want to save those changes. So if I have some kind of a pi, looks like that's a lousy looking circle, isn't it? Okay. And uh, I let all the reds, uh, let's say we have a, a positive charge, was that blue was used for positive by Alex? Explanation. Yep, blue was used for positive. So let's go here, back to here, and say, Let's say we've got, uh, well, they used red for negative, so let's go, oh, got positive here. Okay, it's positive. Now, if that's true, then what's gonna happen is, what we're doing is we're inducing polarization. If you have positives, all the positive parts of this atom or this particle are gonna get pushed away, right? Because like charges repel like. So all the blues are gonna come over here. If it starts out as neutral, Kind of equal amounts of red and blue, right? And then all the reds are gonna be attracted to it because opposites attract, right? Okay, so this is sketching polarization induced by a nearby charge. Let me go back to here. And that is what is meant by sketching polarization induced by a nearby charge. All right, hope that's helpful.